Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at adding vault support or in general how to do APIs to our Golden Mops plugin. So what I did, I downloaded a vault from uh, Spigot and I will link this in the description, the link to this uh, download and added it to my server and I also added it to my build path and Fault needs a permission economy or chat plugin and for the economy plugin I downloaded Essentials X. So that's all you need to prepare for this tutorial. Essentials X and Vault. Download them, add them to your server and also add Vault to your build path. So after you've added Vault to your build path, uh, there's one thing you need to do as well. Uh, there's a... There's a tutorial about how to add vault to your plugin and in here there's a setup economy uh, a setup economy boolean and I'm just gonna copy this so copy go into Eclipse and paste it over here you'll see it returns an errors that's because we did not add the whole thing let me go back in here and as you can see setup economy uh, requires a um, economy and over here we need to do economy private static copy that as well put it over here then go back over here and as you can see it's a whole lot of copying I will explain what we did in a second and copy this as well so the setup economy and uh, put that in your on enable and as you can see all errors are gone now and just remove this line, it's not important, it, it's a warning, but we do not have that, because we are going to do it just perfect. So what I did was I copied the setup economy void, the boolean, and what this does, it first checks if a vault is installed on the server, so if there's a file with uh, the name vault, a plugin with the name vault inside the plugins folder, and after that it uh, gets a registered service provider, economy. And the economy plugin has a service, a, a service manager, and he registered a economy service. And that's just if your uh, economy plugin supports fault, you do not have to worry about what this code says. Just copy it from the site. Uh, it gets the servers. And if it's null, so if it's not there, then it will return false. And then it will disable this whole plugin and else it will just return it. So, econ equals null, but over here it sets econ equals airspeed or get provider. Well, what we can do, it's a private static, but I'm gonna make it a public static, so that I can reference it from other scripts as well. It's inside the zombie listener on zombie killed. Get uh, when the zombie, the silver zombie is killed. I want to first check if it's killed, by a player so e dot get entity dot get zombie uh, dot get killer and killer will return an player so we can check if the player does not equal null so if the entity is killed by a player then we want to do player p equals e dot get entity dot get killer because then we know what player it is and we get our golden mobs dot econ and then simply we can do deposit player, it will give a certain player uh, money and then we do p.getName because we want to do it on the name and the double, uh, just do 10. And it will return in the a deprecation error, just don't worry, it will work. And after that I want to send a message to the player with your current balance is now plus golden mobs dot econ dot get balance from or offline player so p and of course you can do over here you can also do this and it's not deprecated oh let's use that instead so remove deprecation token and that's how easy it is i now deposited 10 so deposit means add withdraw means take away and you can do get balance to get the balance of a player that's how easy it is and let's go check this out on the server see you over there so inside minecraft now i started up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created i went ahead and prepared one 
little silver zombie. Just cornered him and let's slay him. So if I slay him, as you can see, there's... This is in Dutch. I tried to change it. I could not find any value. Just let me know if you know how to do that. So let's kill the zombie. And as you can see, balance is 21. I already had 11 in my bank account. And that's it. That's how easy it is to include the Vault API. If it, it works with any API. Yeah, that's publicly documented. Just add it to your build path and use the code they give you on the documentation page. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comments. Or there's a link to the Discord in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.